There is nothing in the world more ridiculous than putting a burger on your Bloody Mary. People do it and it is ridiculous. But you know what's not ridiculous? Putting a little Bloody Mary in your burger. Ah, now that's an idea. I love a Bloody Mary. I always have one at brunch. My husband Jason actually makes the best Bloody Mary, but this is not his recipe, it is mine. Let's talk about those classic Bloody Mary flavors. Tomato, obviously, but then it's got a little heat from some horseradish and some hot sauce. Maybe you got a little Worcestershire sauce in there for some savoriness. We are gonna incorporate all of these incredible flavors into this burger. We're starting with one and a half pounds of ground sirloin. There are burger purists out there who are gonna at me, and I get it, I truly do, I feel your pain. But I also like to have a little fun in the kitchen. And what we're gonna do is take either one or two forks, and we're just gonna very gently break up that meat. You can also do this with your hands, but just be very delicate if you do. You don't want to heat it up, you just wanna sort of open it up. This is prepared horseradish, and I've drained it, and we're gonna go ahead and just sort of scatter that right on top. Of course, you've gotta have tomato in a Bloody Mary. We are gonna be using tomato paste. It has a lot less moisture, and it's a super concentrated flavor. If you are using a tube of tomato paste, don't be a hater. Make sure you roll up that bottom just like you would the toothpaste. Now, for a little more heat, we're gonna go in with some hot sauce. And for this, you gotta go with that Louisiana style. You want it fiery, and you want it vinegary. Two teaspoons. I'm just gonna go ahead and, actually, maybe I will measure today. Two teaspoons. We are gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. This is gonna give us an incredible savoriness because this is packed with tons and tons of ingredients. Now, we're gonna go in with one of my secret weapons in the kitchen. This is celery seed. It's not gonna be a super pronounced flavor in the burger, but when you eat it, it's gonna be like when you're sipping a Bloody Mary and you get a little whiff of the celery stock that's in there. That's what we're doing with these celery seeds. And of course, we're gonna add some salt, we're gonna add some pepper. Boom. <sighs> Smells like a Bloody Mary. So here is where it's crucial to not overwork your meat. And this is where those forks come in. If you use your hands to mix this, the warmth will transfer to the meat and sort of soften it, and we wanna avoid that. It's time to form some burgers. And to do so, we are gonna use one of my favorite and most famous Mad Genius tips. We're gonna use some takeout lids. Take one fourth of this mixture and place it right on top of a plastic lid. Take your other lid, invert it on top and just press. This gives you, voila, the most perfect burger patty of your life. You're gonna use this all summer long. Transfer this to a baking sheet lined with parchment or foil. One burger down, three to go. Let's do this. All these burgers in my life. I love a burger. Justin's Burger Shop. Is it called a burger shop? Burger joint. <gasps> That's what it is, it's a joint. Makes me think of the peach pit. If you know, you know. Last burger! We've got our patties ready to go. We wanna get all of our other toppings ready to go. Super classic here, because we've got so much flavor packed into our burgers. Some onion, some tomato, and some lettuce. Although I don't think that's the proper order. What is the proper order? Tomato, lettuce, and onion? Onion, tomato, and lettuce? Let me know in the comments. Okay, we're going in with some onion first. Move this right over here. We're gonna go in with some tomato. Got my lettuce ready to go, do not need to worry about this. Of course, gotta have some American cheese. So I've got my cheese, I've got my burgers, I will meet you at the grill. We're back, and it feels like I got a sunburn. 10 minutes at the grill is all it takes for me, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to build our burgers. I love to use brioche buns, but of course any hamburger bun will do here. We're going pretty simple, but you cannot, and I will not, have a burger without mayonnaise. Right on the bottom bun, last little bun here. That one has extra mayonnaise because it's mine. And we're gonna go ahead and put our burger patties right on top, patties on. Now you get to choose your toppings. I like to use red leaf lettuce just because it's nice and tender, and I like to put the lettuce on now because it sort of sticks to the cheese. The tomato and the onion, just maybe one or two slices on each. Wait, let's take a poll. Everyone in the room, 
Just me and Spencer. Do you like onion on your burger? No, we're gonna have one onionless burger. Let's go ahead and pop on those tops. All right, I'm going in. Ho ho, ha he, ha hey. This burger requires a gigantic bite. Evidence is all over my face at how good this burger is. Please hold. This is an A plus 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 plus. You still get that beefiness that you want in a sort of a classic American hamburger, but you also get a little bit of that tomato, a little bit of that heat from the horseradish and Tabasco, just a whisper of celery, and I know what you're thinking. Can you serve a Bloody Mary with a Bloody Mary burger? And you know what? You can. Cheers, everyone. Got my Bloody Mary burger. I've got my Bloody Mary. I'm off to brunch.